what is a spool request it's a printing configuration spool request user submits the user request to dialog box process and dialog box process gets a request call spool request hmm. output request the spool request gives the output request okay when you give something print for example this page as a print immediately dialog box process take entire data raw data and paste it into temp directory what is temp directory location that is called as a spool request after that spool request will come into picture and read this uh, unstructured data and it will convert into whatever the printer for example you are having check printing it will convert the data into check printable format that is called as a output request so output request is created by spool work process a spool request is created by dialog work process first spool request should be created then output request will be created what is access method it will tell the architecture of uh, with architecture which operating system you are using which architecture you are using architecture means whether you are using local printing remote printing or front end printing which operating system means whether you are using a windows operating system or a linux operating system uh, how many types of printings we have three types what are they local printing remote printing front end printing okay uh, what is temc what is temc is a temporary storage area mm -hmm. okay temc location uh, rspo slash uh, slash store underscore location is equal to g r d b if it is g it will be in global directory global directory just global now we global. discussed usr sap sid sys global there the temc will location will be stored if you say db then pat01 and pat uh, sorry what is the tables tst01 tn tst03 system refresh prerequisites first we have to take screenshot of uh, s license then check the space file system space mm -hmm. and uh, we need to check a db uh, db13 for data uh, backup calendar mm -hmm. and, uh, we need to take uh, screenshots of uh, rfc connections operation modes uh, background yeah, suspend uh, ba background job background yes. jobs stms uh, stms uh, TM tms okay, configuration backups uh -huh. how you do uh, export of user master data SSC by SSC. client export and import client export SSC uh, when you do SSC SSC. eight, uh, will it create transport request? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Will you release the transport request? Yes. yes. Okay. What are the tables you take uh, backup in transport of copies? User user data. Transport of copy E zero seven zero TBD LS industry TBTCT. The tables are there, na? Okay. Post refresh activities. Okay, you have done restore. You have done recovery also. Then, yeah. Carry on. We need to do zero and we need to uh, reset the HTMS configuration. Okay, BTC to zero. Then, first you need to run. BTC trans one to suspend all trans the background one. jobs. Okay, then we need to uh, we need to apply the license and we need to run a ST zero six data. Okay, okay. and we need to also run SGN. Finally, SGN and BDLS are final steps. BDLS. Okay. You have to configure. You need to, you have to reconfigure uh, all those EMS. EMS. Okay, you have to input all this transport request. You have mode. to configure operation modes. Everything you have to run. Right? Okay, finally, run SGN and BDLS. What is SGN? BDLS. 
no generator no generator no. with without system refresh prerequisites procedure and post without this you won't get job remember this so if i ask you prerequisites procedure and post refresh activities without stopping you have to answer that the three things tomorrow i'll ask you system refresh prerequisites all that 13 to 14 prerequisites and the procedure and the post refresh <coughs> activities mandatory question this this is mandatory questions user types rfc types transport request types user unable to log in uh, and uh, system is not coming up transport hang background job is running long time and tell me about yourself roles and responsibilities your landscape backup strategy okay these are mandatory questions for your interview most of the almost uh, 90 percentage time you will get these questions remember tomorrow i'll ask you system refresh entire thing okay uh, kernel upgradation uh, while doing kernel upgradation what are the files to download yeah we will get sap f dot ha huh? database dependent independent and database sir. dependent oh, file file names file names sap sap db dot sir sap exe db dot sir how you, how you uncare them using care you did sap care sap care you sap care okay so yes can anyone uh, explain me the procedure first we have to take the backup of uh, old kernel mm -hmm. and uh, we have to download from as from uh, log into the sap uh, marketplace and uh, we have to download uh, dot the uh, to uh, independent and data uh, and, uh, we have to store we have to place them uh, place them in a directory in any directory mm. and uh, uh, by using a, a a utility called uh, sap xvf uh, extract verbose force uh, using the this utility we need to extract these files mm -hmm. and uh, replace uh, old kernel uh, so you won't stop uh, services you won't stop sap uh, we stop Uh, we still need to stop the services. Stop it. See, stop see, SAP. see. Yes. First of all, you have to download two files: SAP exe dot sir, SAP exe db dot sir. You have to uncare them into new new kernel folder. First, now you have to back up your old kernel. Stop SAP services. Stop SAP. Or replace this new kernel to old kernel. And start services. Start SAP. Check the work. Check the work. This is the procedure. Will you start the database? No. Not recommended. For example, you are having five application servers, so you copy all these kernel. Uh, every application server is having its own local kernel directory. Will you copy to all the exe directories? No, only the global kernel directory we copy. What are the HANA services? Okay. Name server, preprocessor, web dispatcher, mm -hmm. compile server, index server, access engine. Access engine. Very good. Okay. Uh, difference between uh, spam and sum. Spam. Only oh. support package update is in spam. Okay. And support package kernel upgrade is ESP in sum. Okay. That is what only the difference or any other thing. You need downtime for in spam. Okay. And uh, in execution phase, sum only we have downtime. Okay, for some only execution phase is a downtime, but in spam from the starting itself, every all the we lock all the users. Now everything is a downtime only. Some uh, yeah, spam is, is less. Yeah, yeah uh, spam, spam runtime is less. Some runtime is more, but the downtime more. with the sum is less. For the spam, yes. entire thing is downtime. Okay, great. Uh, when you go with sum one point zero and sum two point zero. Network seven point four below. Network seven point four below is seven one point zero. 
Uh, 7.5 you should answer like this if your target system is 7.4 or below and if it is the yeah. ABAP or Java system then we go with some 1.0 if your target system is 7.5 or above and ABAP system then we go with some 2.0 what is the latest version of some 2.0 SPS what is running SPS 06 Oi, no. it's running it's running that is uh, SPS 06 for uh, HANA 2.0 was. HANA 2.0 latest version is SPS 6. For some, I am asking. Some. Check that version. Some 2.0 SPS, uh, I think 15 or 16 running. 14, I think. 14 or 15. Some 1.0, 28 or 29 is running. Okay, I'll check otherwise. Okay, how you do the installation by using which tool you do the installation? SWPM. What are the prerequisites for installation? What should be available? Network. Which port? 4237. Okay, then? Host name. Will Hmm. Network should be available. Okay. Network should be configured. Uh, port number should be available. Virtual memory should be configured. Virtual and your uh, host name and IP address should be maintained in your ETC host file. These are the prerequisites. Okay. What are the some phases? Extraction phase, configuration phase, checks, pre-processing, execution, post-processing. Where shadow instance will be created? Pre-processing. Pre How you log in into shadow instance? DDAC user. DDAC user, okay. By using GUI, in GUI, GUI, we need to change the user. Ah, GUI. In GUI, you need to change that in shadow instance number, <laughs> then login with the DDIC user. Yeah, After yeah. login, you yeah, don't yeah. do anything, just to create a new user equivalent to DDIC. Yeah. Then log out and login with that newly created user, then run SPDD and do the data dictionary affix changes. Don't do SPAU. When you do SPAU changes, Post After, ah. completion. After completion of EHP upgradation, you will be having 14 days time to do SPAU changes, SPAU changes. Okay. What is StackX? How to create StackX ML file? How to create stack is available in download basket. It is available in download basket. Ah, okay. Uh, when you download the software, it will be in download basket. But how you create that stack XML file? After creating stack XML file, everything will be added to download basket. Okay. How you by using maintenance opti maintenance planner? Maintenance Go plan. to service Mops. marketplace, maintenance planner. Not MOPS, plan MOPS is older version. Now it is maintenance optimizer. Plan is system. Maintenance planner, you, you can say. So go to that system, systems, and you select your system and say upgrade. So it will ask you for your operating, uh, your source and target, then operating system, database, kernel versions, host chains, everything. Finally, you will get a stack XML file. What you are having in stack XML file? Did you ever try to read that stack XML file? What it information it contains? We have SID, okay. host name, system number. System number, great. Yes, these required, uh, required software components system. information. Only information will be there, not software components. Okay. So all the software components will be added to download basket. From download manager, you have to download that software. Uh, difference between single container database and multi container database. What are the uh, system DB and tenant DB? Difference between system DB and tenant DB. 
system DP, we don't have index error. Okay. okay. We have index error and index engine. Uh, index engine. Okay. What is the SQL port number for index server? 15. What? 15. 3 instance number 15. 3 instance number 15. How you take the backup of HANA database? HANA Studio. HANA Studio. We're using HANA Studio. Okay. System DB. System DB. 